right, well, first of all, thank you for coming out. Yeah. Where did you come from? Uh, Las Vegas, yeah, so, or Henderson. So you're in Las Vegas now. Yeah, and I love it. So much better than California. I will never go back to California in a million years. Oh my gosh. Yeah, first time out here. First time meeting Jamie, by the way. I've never met Jamie in person, so this is great. Yeah, we've just been talking on the phone and texting and stuff. Yeah. And uh, I heard about you. I'll tell you how I heard about you. Uh, I did an install for a guy, Mitch, a year ago, right before the van build. And when I was consulting with him and working out his install and everything, he would just kept repeating over and over, well, Will Prowse says to do this. <laughs> Will Prowse says to do oh, that. Geez. And so by, you know, three or four days into it, I was saying, I don't know, maybe we can call Will Prowse and see what he says. I was going to do it this way, but you might want to check with Will Prowse. And so I'd never That's even heard of you. so yet. funny. And oh so gosh. I was on an elliptic machine at the gym one day, and they had the Wi-Fi there. And so I just put my phone up on the thing and pulled up Will Prowse and started watching some of your videos. No way. And I was like, man, I need to listen to Will Prowse so I can sum up my solo game. That really is a true story. No way. So, That's so funny. Yeah, so I've watched a few of your videos since then, and you really take it to the next level. You know, you got some... Uh, some YouTubers out there that'll do a power station. You guys have seen me and Will both do power station reviews, and you've got some that just turn the camera on, open it out of the box, put the panel out, <laughs> say this is what it does, and there you have it. Then, then you got cl click on the link below. Just click on that link, yeah, guys. Yeah, click, just click on the link. Don't think about anything else. Just click the link. <laughs> so, so that's the first one. Then you got me. I'll take it out of the box, give you some of the stats on it. Put a solar panel out, see how it charges over the course of the day. Maybe I'll discharge it beforehand, see how it charges over the course of the day. Give you as many numbers as I can on that and, uh, you know, leave it at that. Then you got Will Prowse. He takes it out of the box, gives you the, the statistics on it, and then takes a screwdriver and takes it apart <laughs> and looks at all the parts inside of it and says, well, that's from this country and that's from that country. And I mean, you junk, know what you junk, do. junk. That's falling <laughs> apart. That's a manufacturing defect. We've had so many issues lately with these products. It's just everything's junk lately. But um, yeah, and then we try to break them. And it's, it's fun when you have a good device and you stress test it and you can't kill it. And I love that because like, I mean, any, you know, average Joe, he's not going to know all the little things inside the inner workings. They just want to hook it up, press the on button and stop thinking. Just done. And I, that's what I want to do too. Right. That's why I had to learn about it too is because I was so tired of everything breaking on me. I mean, I have trash cans filled with just so many inverters and solar charge controllers and junky wire and yeah I, I could talk all day about everything that's broken so it's it's you know it's like a necessity we needed it because <laughs> it's so many problems well thanks <laughs> luckily they're breaking because my channel probably wouldn't succeed because right so much stuff breaking these days so. well yeah. how long have you been doing this um so I started YouTube I made a physical therapy uh, like a channel and that was like about eight or nine years ago. And I also started a kiteboarding video like channel about 10 or 11 years ago. And I was, when I was 16, I was paying my auto insurance bill with YouTube before YouTube had ads. So I, I mean, I've been doing this since I was like pretty young. And then, um, then I just started getting the solar because it was fun. But uh, yeah, lots of YouTube channels. Yeah, the other channel most people don't know about, but uh, now it's just all solar. And the solar's more fun though because it's like, there's a, like mystery and I get to break things and test them and it, it's always something new because with physical therapy and health sciences I get a little bit bored so it's fu it's fun for me but not for everybody else listening to me I well, make no, it as you fast get, as I can but you get people that are very interested in the stuff that you talk about and the people that aren't super interested in it their eyes glaze over and they click another link or yeah. another channel or whatever and that's fine so you know there's an audience for everything uh, you know, we might have a little bit of an overlap of audiences, but you know, there's guys that say, Hey, why don't you get more technical? And I say, Hey, here's Will Prowse's link. <laughs> yeah. Because I am, I am what I am and I, I'm going to put out what, I, what I'm going to put out. And I'm always trying to get a little more technical, but I want my stuff to be kind of concise and useful to the point. You plug it in, it'll run this, it won't run that. This is what it costs with the promo code. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And yeah. uh, you take a lot deeper dive into it. And there's a, there's a definitely a value to that. So, but what got you into doing from, uh, 
where you started all that time, you moved eventually into living in a vehicle and then figured out you need to power and then you got into solar and that's the direction where you started doing solar? Yeah, I had to get power. So I was living in, the, in a van and it was a surf trip van, but I was disabled at the time. So I just moved into it because I couldn't afford rent and I needed power. And this is a long time ago when solar panels we're not around, right? I mean, for a 120 watt panel, it was $600. And I still have the receipt on my eBay account from that long ago. And this was straight from China, took, you know, six to 10 weeks. And like not nowadays, you just click it on Amazon one day later, oh, I got a solar power system, woohoo. But like back in those, back in my heyday, <laughs> right? these things, you built them and like you had to program parameters and like everything was just junky. So uh, yeah. I, um, and then it's it, a whole 10 years went by living off grid. And so I just kept building up bigger and bitter, bigger and more efficient systems, systems that wouldn't catch on fire, systems that could actually power what I wanted to power. So it's just like small systems and then medium and then big. But I already had a lot more experience with electro, uh, electrical systems before, because when I was like 14 to 16, I was programming um, microcontroller, um, I mean, servo controller, microcontrol system. So I would do animatronics. So I'd make robotic faces and arms. And I was the guy that programmed them and built the power supplies. And I built them from scratch. So when I jump on, you know, YouTube and I'm doing like, here's a solar system. It's like easier than what I did when I was 14. So it's like, right. it's dead simple for me. The hard part is finding the products that people can actually use and don't have to worry about. Like even me, I'm desperate because I'm not going to make this in my backyard. I'm not going to make a full size inverter system. I mean, I can't do that. Well, I could do it but it takes so much time so yeah um it's fun i had to do it out of necessity but i had the background so it made it a lot easier and nowadays all i do is read battery studies and like just efficiency stuff and chemistry and that's about it the electrical side of it is just dead simple stuff that you if you know like ohm's law and watts and like resistance you're done like it just takes a couple of videos on youtube and almost anybody with like a couple of weeks of like dedication can learn everything right but the battery chemistry studies it's like you have to be constantly going and it's hard and that's where like there's a huge disconnect like i could talk all day to everybody here and help everybody with their system but once you start going into theory or you start going into like electrochemical reactions then it's just like a whole different we don't even like to cover that stuff on the channel even my channel right. we don't want to do that but um yeah i don't know i love it it's fun and uh been doing it for a long time i know i look really young everyone's like aren't you like 16 but yeah a lot of years have been going by and, and these systems are improving and, and it's so fun to watch them improve over the years it's, it's crazy i mean look what we're doing look at this yeah like we're off grid and we've got radio system and like it's crazy and, and electricity is like magic. It's like you can't see it. Like if, if a piece of metal is charged with like a thousand volts or it's not, it looks the same. It's like voodoo witchcraft magic. So like, I, I love it. It's freaking crazy. It's like magic. <laughs> and, and you're uh, breaking it down for people in ways they, that they can understand to make it not, at least a, not a little as much magic. I call it witchcraft myself. But yeah. um, so you started in a, in a van, then you got an RV mm -hmm. and now you're in a house. I got a lot of RVs and lots of vans. Okay. Yeah. So you went through a lot of different RV. RVs, different vans. Now you're in a house. And yeah, now I'm in a house. I still have the RV though. So at first blush, folks might be watching your channel going, man, he's living in a house. What's he going to talk about now? What's yeah. the future hold for your channel? What's cool is because I have the RV in storage. Now I can do whatever I want with it before. I was, you know, desperate for electricity to even edit the videos. Like when my systems were down and I was adding the Tesla battery, right? I had no more power. I, I can't like film. I can't charge my batteries. I had nothing else to power my stuff. So I had lights off and I had flashlights to build these systems. <laughs> so like now that I have a house and I have the camera equipment, I can actually help people with RVs and vans. It's funny because they're like, oh, we're using a house now. But I'm like, I think I can help a lot more now. Now I have like so much more to work with so yeah it's it's fine i just posted a video yesterday i believe um i think it was yesterday morning yeah and it's the uh, dc dc charger from energy with the mppt and it's just so dead simple now like somebody with an rv or van just a couple wires and like a couple fuses and you're done like not long ago you'd have to program that you'd have to like all these wires everything spec accordingly it's just so easy and uh yeah, now I get to show people that and I don't have to be nomadic and it's, it's 
nice. I was nomadic out of desperation though. Um, I, I like traveling, but I don't like traveling that much. But it was because I had a nerve disease and I couldn't walk. So for me, I was running out of food. I was always in shelters. I was always at food banks. Um, I was on SSI. I had to go to court like multiple times just to get that. So a lot of my life I was disabled and I just read a lot and I was just in the RV and I had to have power. So <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it right there. Right, that was the inspiration was just being able to turn on your stuff. And another yeah. thing that's nice about living in a house for you is if you're still gonna stay with the theme of talking about solar and uh, batteries and stuff, you don't have to worry about packing up and moving every 14 days, and you've got room to spread out. You can set up a soul, you can set up a garage with all that stuff, and you don't have to worry about packing it up. Me, I have to pack stuff oh, yeah. up all the time. I've got all my power stations that are you sitting around everywhere, but you have room for it. Where people stealing my stuff, and like where I lived in California, just dealing with the crime and the people on the streets. Because um, I was always in the city, I was never out here. And just on the streets, it's just always stressful, always watching your back. If somebody sees that you have battleborns and you're, you know, and you're gone for a couple hours because you're gone, your car's not there, they're gonna bust in there and take all your stuff. So I've had so much stuff stolen on the streets. So That's yeah, crazy. now that I'm in a house, I can actually just have a battery there and just build it, not worried about getting hurt or or me getting hurt because someone can't afford the battery or and they want the battery or something stupid. So I, I just hate living on the streets. I just I'm so glad I'm off. Man, I mean, if I could live out here, it'd probably be a lot safer and easier, but... You yeah. like what you like, man. And if you like living in a house outside of Las Vegas, then that's your thing. And yeah. I've, I've often thought if I was going to settle down someplace, because I like watching uh, boxing matches and UFC fights and stuff. Maybe I wouldn't be in the casinos necessarily all the time, but I'd be over at the T-Mobile Center watching big fights as they come up. I like the energy of stuff like that. Even though I've grown through all that <laughs> age-wise, I still like the energy of being around big events. And it's just one of the central focal points on the planet of big events. And that's one of the things I really like about Las Vegas. Oh, heck yeah. That's so, so fun. That's yeah. Great. Well, with that, I know that we've got, we've got uh, he and I are sitting by my bus, but there's a big crowd gathered behind us waiting for uh, Will to give a presentation that he's been kind enough to drive down from Las Vegas to give us. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this part up. Uh, how would people find, if they're watching this, if you're watching this for, for the first time, I know you guys watch my channel, often want to know about solar, want to learn about how to power your rig, and that's why you're on my channel. Uh, Will Prowse takes it to the next level. And he also has a book out that keeps it really simple that you can find on Amazon. Talk a little bit about the name of the book, how they find it on Amazon, how they would find your channel, yeah. and then let's get over there and get you into that presentation. Okay, there's a couple ways you guys can find me. First, if you put in DIY solar power, usually my video videos will come up and it's with Will Prouse. DIY solar power is all you need to remember. Also, we have a community which is DIYSolarForum.com. And that's a group of electrical engineers, electricians, um, hobbyists, and thousands of people all talking to each other about off-grid DIY solar. And then the book is Mobile Solar Power Made Easy. And you can find that on Amazon. It's been number one bestseller um, internationally and in the States for, gosh, how many months now? It's been like eight months. Um, it's also number one bestseller in electrical home improvement. I don't know why it's ranking over there. You're but. over <laughs> Elon Musk. Yeah, that blows it, me away. It, it, yeah, it passed it on. It's top 100 on engineering too, internationally, which is insanity. But I guess it was needed. If you look at the other books, there put you to sleep. They're hard to understand. No one cares about the details of theory. We just need to know how to build a system quick and so that it doesn't catch your rig on fire, done. And that's that's what the book accomplishes. If, if you don't want to get bored to death with electrical stuff, just read the book. We've got packages. And if you want, there's the math in there if you choose to do it, but you don't need to. So lots of options there. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. And, we're, and I hear uh, Ty warm up the crowd for you. Let's not keep waiting. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in, our, in the next video, or very soon, we'll, we'll put, put some more stuff out about the van build. We got a lot of more uh, stuff that we're editing right now for that, but coming very soon, we'll have the presentation that Will gives. And so thanks for watching, and see you soon. See you guys. Hey, man. Woo.